What's up everybody, I'm Raphael and welcome to the channel Network Engineer Pro. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update or edit the contents of a route policy on Cisco IOS XR. In regular iOS, we have route maps. If we want to match traffic and set an attribute in BGP, for example, iOS XR, on the other hand, has route policy language or RPL, which is kind of like route maps on steroids. Let me show you in the lab. Okay, check out my route policy on my XRV 9K. It's named my policy and it says if the AS path is local, then set the community to 7018 colon 90. Let me know in the comments, by the way, if you know what that community does, then everything else go ahead and pass. Nothing crazy here, right? But if I wanted to update this route policy with something else like AS path prepending, for example, you might think, right, if you're coming from regular iOS, that you can just enter the configuration of this route policy and add the additional config that you need and you're good to go, kind of like a regular ACL or a route map. Well, it's not that simple in iOS XR. Let me show you what happens if you do that. I'm going to go into config T and I'm going to enter the policy named my policy. Okay, you can see we have this warning message here that says the policy object route policy, my policy already exists. Reconfiguring it via CLI will replace the current definition, use abort to cancel. That's kind of a scary message, but let's continue. I'm gonna go into this if statement and I'm gonna do some AS path prepending. I'm gonna say prepend the AS path number two, five times. I'm gonna end and again and commit. Now I'll do a show run again and see if anything's changed. Now take a look at my route policy. Does it look any different than before? The AS path prepending configuration that I did actually overwrote the community that I had and the pass at the very end. That's not good. So if you edit the route policy with one piece of config, for example, it's gonna overwrite everything. Let me put the original configuration back and show you a better way how to edit route policies. Okay, now everything's back to the way it was before I made any changes. Now I'll go ahead and show you a better way to edit the route policy that won't override everything. If I want to set the community and do AS path prepending, I'm just gonna go into edit, route policy, my policy. Now I get into this text editor where I can use the arrow keys to kind of move around any way that I want. So if I wanna add AS path prepending, I'm gonna say prepend, AS path number two, five times. I'm gonna press control X, press Y to save the changes. I'm gonna hit enter here and I'm gonna press yes to commit. Now I'll check the route policy again by doing show RPL route policy and then the name of the policy and I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, this is looking a lot better. I can see that the policy named my policy says if the AS path is local, then set the community to 7018 colon 90 and prepend the AS path number two, five times. Everything else, go ahead and pass. And that's it. If I want to edit this route policy, I can just use the editor add whatever configuration I want, and I don't have to worry about anything being overwritten. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful and you wanna see more, then go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a great day and keep on labbing.